Okay, Commissioner Sidex. The next item is item number five, uh, an application for certificate of appropriateness in the borough of Brooklyn. Uh, docket number 156738, 355 President Street, AKA 318-326 Hoyt Street, Carroll Gardens Historic District, a neo greg style row house built in 1878. Application is to construct a rear yard addition, demolish a garage, and construct a new building. President Street. Um, it is located on the northwest corner of President and Point Streets within the Carroll Gardens Historic District. It's one of a row of seven neo brack style buildings. It's the end of the row, as you can see in this photo and this photo. Um, and it's long side facade, fronts on Point Street here. Um, this is a view of the rear currently. Um, and also views of the metal garage that is proposed to be demolished for the construction of the new carriage house. Um, the Carroll Gardens Historic District is quite small and it's characterized by uh, small scale rear yard additions, um, a number of which are um, <coughs> indicated with the yellow dots. Those are all one story rear yard additions. The red dots are um, two story rear yard additions. The Commission has approved um, the construction of three rear yard additions within the Carroll Gardens Historic District over the um, past several years. Uh, I don't believe any of those are visible from the street. Um, and another thing to note about the Carroll Gardens Historic District is that uh, the corner buildings such as this one typically have uh, some sort of one-story rear extension, whether it's a garage or an actual um, part of the building. So uh, the architect will uh, walk you through the details of the proposal. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Pratt, and I'm an architect working on 355 President Street. Um, just the first thing I want to mention um, is that the we are restoring the front facade um, to its original state in the tax photo, bringing in details um, that are existing on some of the houses that are along the same block. Um, in terms of the side elevation, we have an existing bay that is maintained, and this extension is an eight-foot extension going into the rear yard, and we've incorporated some windows, uh, which are actually um, for legal light and air. Um, and these windows above are for uh, actually in the bathrooms, uh, but we are hoping that it you know, provides some kind of uh, nice composition for the side elevation. Um, the garage is a, it's two stories, um, the same height of uh, um, the garage as the as the addition. Uh, there is a, an apartment above um, that you enter from this street, and again, legal light and air <clears throat> on these windows. Uh, there is a new shorter four-foot wall that is blocking the backyard. Um, a stair going down from the um, second level into the rear yard. And this is the elevation of the new rear yard facade. And then this is a close-up view of the garage. Thank you. Uh, the questions? <clears throat> Yes, Eddie. Um, on the, so I, this is the Hoyt Street side? This is the Hoyt Street side, yeah. yes. What, do we know what the history is on why there is only one opening, the bay? Or, do we know why there, what, what there was before, why there are no windows on that side? What is... Well, in terms of corner buildings, um, bay windows are a characteristic feature in this neighborhood of right. Brooklyn. Um, I mean, this is an original bay window that we've actually issued a permit in the, in the 90s to reconstruct, so it's not the original original, but it's as, as it would have looked. Um, but, but why, 
just if, why the history of just one bay window and no other well, it's on the openings? Parlor, I mean, the bay window uh, is on the parlor floor, which is the most important floor. Uh, so the living spaces, you know, bedrooms would have been upstairs, so you would have had no need for a kind of formal element like this. Um, the other rooms had windows in the front and the back. Yeah, they had the windows in the front and the back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two, two but, and so, but the bay window was the same, exactly the same. Do we know it was, it was in the original? Um, well, it's, it's in the, uh, in the original tax it's lot. That, in the original tax lot, yeah. So. I just what are the two windows for again? Over, what are the windows proposed for over the bay window? Oh, these, two, this is, um, these are bathrooms on the third level. Um, can I just yes. ask a question about the choice of the lintels? Uh, it looks like this building has um, brick, slightly arched, win uh, arched lintels. Your, your, all your new windows have the concrete flat lintels. Can you explain why that, why, why you chose that to make that ch change to the style right, of the building? Right, the original rear facade has all of the curved windows. Right, as, it, as does appear the rest of the row uh, from your from rear foot. From the rear. Right. Um, uh, I guess a couple of reasons. Um, we were really basing the look of, of this on uh, on what had been done previously and, and had been approved. Mm -hmm. um, and also, we wanted some kind of continuity uh, between this building and this building, and also just to kind of create a, a, a difference between uh, some, the front facade, you know, is obviously... Um, well, that's you know, just stuck on yeah, um, I think I think just the square appealed to us, um, and we also saw it in certain certain buildings that we were trying to mimic. Okay. All right. Uh, are there other questions or comments? Okay, we'll do I just, I, sorry. Is it a comment or? A it's a comment, yes. Okay, so why don't we just take okay. testimony and then we can go to comments. Uh, Kelly Carroll? Kelly? Okay. Kelly Carroll, Historic Districts Council. Overall, HDC found this proposal very sensitive in its design and approach. As a finishing touch, we suggest adding a corbel or a simple brick frieze to the termination of the rear addition. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right, um, Adi, you wanted to comment? Well, I'm just curious if there are any examples um, of smaller windows uh, in, the, for instance, for the bathrooms above, or perforations that are just smaller on these on these faces, uh, so that it doesn't compete with the bay, which I think is very powerful as a single um, opening on that side. But I understand that you need it for ventilation. The windows below, anyway, on the ground floor, right? Um, the, 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 you can, if you can come forward. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> That's good. The windows, I mean, these windows could be smaller legally um, for those bathrooms. So it's, it's, it's more of that we're just trying to, we picked a window type and we wanted to keep it consistent. Um, yeah, I think, I think so. it actually, Fred, I think it's okay. It's a smaller window wide look. Yeah. Right. That's just why I'm asking, what's the precedent? More, right. It's just, uh, I understand that, you know, the concern of taking away from the bay, but it seems that in that elevation, <laughs> the bay still seems prominent, and the other build, uh, windows all seem consistent. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is very well done, including the removal of the tall wall and, and uh, the, the parent's house. Very, very project. Very nice I think so too. Any other comments? W one more question about the stair behind. Is it similar or the same as the stair in the front? Do no, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a simple, it's a concrete pan stair with metal. The, the stair at the front is actually quite ornate. Yeah. Um, not something that we uh, want to or can really replicate. But it's the, the, the back stair will be very visible from the street more so it, than it. It will, be, it will mm -hmm. be visible from the street, but it's a much um, more simpler design. Mm -hmm. I think more in keeping with the rear facade. Um, that right, I think design. we've seen that as well. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Uh, I, mean, I, would, I would suggest they think about the the arched lintels. I think it is something that's particular to this house and this row. Uh, maybe, maybe it could be integrated somehow. I mean, I think that the precedent is a perfectly lovely one, but I think you've got something on this building that's a feature not only of its backs, 
but up its front as well, you have the arched windows on the basement level. I think it would be worth thinking about as keeping something special to the house. Is there any concerns with keeping these as arched windows in the front? I mean, on the side? Um, to be frank, our original design had arched windows, had arches over, you know, it's easy enough to, to transfer right. this window, this window. We kept it on the floor above um, because we weren't disturbing that and we wanted it to be, you know, kind of a remnant of, of what was originally there. Um, so then our instinct, at least on this facade, was to, to curve it. But then when we were looking at it obliquely um, and we were trying to kind of pull together this sort of square, we just wanted that continuity. Uh, Are you okay? It's not, it's again. not a color thing. It's just a Okay, but it seems that they actually looked at that. And, and so uh, the window on that top floor is going to be the same as the existing window, and you just open the second window for the door, right? Correct. Right. Correct. But we kept this the same shape. I mean, we we'll probably have to rebuild it, but we're, we're keeping it. So the other window is the same size? Correct. Okay, are there any uh, concerns? We can take so this to vote. Sure yeah. Okay, we can ask this soften work on the, the matching of the brick. Okay, if there are no other concerns, uh, thank you. We can close the hearing. Second it. Okay, Chris, <laughs> Chris, <laughs> Chris, do you want to uh, sure. read? The matter of Certificate of Appropriateness at 355 President Street, also known as 318326 Hoyt Street, Carroll Gardens Historic District. Application is to construct a rear yard addition, demolish a garage, and construct a new building. I recommend approval, finding that corner buildings within this historic district often have small-scale, full-lot rear extensions or ancillary buildings, ancillary buildings such as garages located at the rear of the lot, that although the proposed two-story addition will be larger than the typical one-story rear extensions, its scale is modest in relation to the building and to the size of the lot. It will not overwhelm the building or site that the top story of the row house will remain intact, allowing it to maintain a visual relationship with this intact row that the removal of a portion of the rear facade for the construction of the proposed addition will result in the loss of only a small amount of historic fabric, that the proposed design, materials, and details of the addition will harmonize with the building and maintain the character of the building as an individual row house, that the introduction of grouped window openings will unify the side facade of the building with the proposed addition and will also help break up the long expanse of this facade, that the one-story metal garage and garden wall proposed to be demolished do not possess any significant architectural features and therefore their demolition will not detract from the special character of the building or district, that the location and scale of the proposed carriage house is subordinate to and will not compete with the row house and its design and materials are in keeping with existing carriage houses found within the historic district and surrounding area and that the proposed addition in conjunction with the new garden wall and carriage house will complete the enclosed green space at the end of the block which is a typical feature of this district and that the proposed work will reinforce to the special historic and architect architectural character of the streetscape and the Carroll Gardens Historic District. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? This application has been approved.